Well, how do that chums? Is I, Captain Steven. Today, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I am doing another planet review. Why still hunting for a Diplo? And no, I have not found a Diplo, but what I have found just over this hill, you should see this little Ewokian creature down here. Now, there are two types of Ewokian creature that frequent this Ewokian planet, I guess. And when, once this goes into daytime and you see the color of this planet, I think you're going to be like, wow, that's pretty dark. Darn sweet. So here we go. Let's go into camera mode. So this is one of the Ewokian creatures, and this is the color of the planet. Yes, it's like Angel Delight. It's like giant pink planet, and we've got these giant Ewokian creatures. I love his handlebar array type things on his head. The other Ewokian creature on this planet, though, chums, has ears, and he looks just like a little mini bear from the Star Wars show. So we've got this one. This is Purple Pidge. Hello there, Purple Pidge. He's lovely, isn't he? Parasites in the brain. We've got this one, I called him Burper, because that looks like the sounds it would make, you know, and this one swims, very odd. We've got a Scottish of the Rod variety, and there we are, Scottish Rod, nice purpley, nice purpley crab creature. I got this one that I just called Tash, because he's got a lovely Tash, hasn't he? Lovely. We've got this one, Viking Snuggler, you can see there in additional observations, bonds with Viking. I think someone's got to, I suppose. And we've got this guy. This is Ewok Stevie. Yeah, you can see there he's got ears. So there's two varieties there. Lovely. He's got retractable eye stalks, apparently. But he does look like a proper Ewok. We've got Ewokian Rex. I'd imagine these snack on the Ewokians. Yes. Now, these last two creatures, they don't look like they belong on this planet. This one, Fudge to Camo. Yeah. And this one, Stripes are so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking, they're the complete contrast to the planet. Yeah, I, I guess they're not too bothered about Ewokian wrecks hunting them down and tearing them limb from limb. But yeah, they, they don't really blend in at all. But there we go. I need to rename this planet. I'm probably going to call it Pink Ewokian or something. But I've called this Interestamondo because it has a secondary lush planet. It's got two lush planets in their system and it's got some bone cats on this planet. So I call this one NMSA bone cat. It's got some pretty nasty creatures on here. Pretty much every creature on this planet will attack you and bite you to freaking death. Yeah, not the most friendliest of planets. So I've got a little snippet of video footage of when I touched down on this planet. Look at this. Yeah, you want some, do you? Take this. Melee to the freaking face. Yes, I'll give you melee combat. Yeah, you bet you wish you didn't start that fight. Yes, well, I'm going to end it, you Freaking little git, take this, yeah. Hand some of this. Chicka pow, chicka boom. Yeah, and just to make sure you're dead, have some of that too. Brilliant. Now, I was going to use a geology cannon, but I realised I had my wrong multi tool to hand. Yes, die. And also, you can see here the planet is killing me as well. But there is some nav data that grows in the wild on this planet, so it's well worth trekking over to this planet. If you do give this realm of space a visit, it's quite a lovely planet. It's also got some pretty gnarly peaks and mountains upon it, and flat plateaus. The terrain is very varied upon this neighbouring lush planet. But yes, the one I'm featuring is the one with the nicer animals and the nicer fauna that's a lovely pink colour. And yes, I've called this. Ewokian pink. Ha! Awesome! Yeah, so there's two lushes in this one system, people. So yeah, come and give it a look-see. It's well worth a look-see. And this does have slight bioluminescence at night as well, which is rather lovely. But yeah, it really comes into part, though, once the actual sun is up. I mean, look at this. When you actually move the sun about, the actual colours that you get are freaking ace. I love it. It's, it's beautiful if you, if you like pink. Yeah, if you don't like pink, I, won't, I wouldn't come here, because it will pink out your eyes. Yes, you don't want pink eye? Heck no, you don't. I'm not too sure if that's how you get pink eye. There's probably multiple ways of getting pink eye. Probably visiting a pink planet isn't probably one of those ways. But yes, um, there we go. Anyway, I'm, I'm going off on a weird tangent now about pink eye. Right, so let's head on down to here. I mean, you can see there are little splashes of water. And the actual water on this planet... It's a little bit dull, to be fair. It's not as nice as the underwater areas that I've been on to on other planets. But this is kind of why you would come here, is for the pink grass. And you saw like little pink beaches and some of the shrooms and things that frequent this planet. Yeah, the, the actual flora here isn't all that great either. It's a bit meh. Other than the pink, it's just a little bit empty. It's a bit sparse. Uh, look, I jump in the water. I'll show you what the water looks like, shall I? Yeah, and even some of the other creatures, other than the Ewokians and the Ewokian Rex, are a little bit meh as well. I mean, yes, that one that goes through the ground, the Viking Snuggler, as I called him, yeah, 
he's quite cool. It's good fun hunting him down. I had great fun hunting them. I'll show you in a bit. I'll go hunt some. So anyway, let's swim under the water here. Yeah, it's a little bit empty. You see what I mean? There's no sort of glowing corals. There's no sort of things that pulsate or move. It's just very sort of meh. It's just got no movement. It just feels a bit dead. This whole planet feels a bit dead, but the, the actual sky, the waters, the grass, it has this very pinky sort of feel to it. So if you do, if you are looking for a pink paradise, this is kind of a pink paradise, but with hardly any trees. You see what I mean? It's just a bit barren. It just feels a little bit empty, but it's very pink. Yeah, so it's got something going for it, but yeah, should I have featured it in my planetary sort of review? Yeah, I think I think it's worth a review. Anyhow, I did mention that um, lovely little you know Viking snuggler and hunting those Viking snugglers. So here we go. This I find to be probably the most fun part about this whole planet is hunting these guys down. You can see them sort of shuffling through the ground and every now and again they pause and they sort of rise up from the ground. They sort of do this sort of like little wave. I like to try and kill them when they're doing the wave. Yeah, but um, it, 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 you have to wait for a while. But no, this one's got stuck, so I don't think he's going to be doing it anytime soon. So you know what? Why he's stuck there? I mean, he's not getting away anytime fast, so I can just select my weapon of death and also select the way that I want to inflict said status of death. So here we go. I want to use my incinerator. Lovely. Let's give that a reload. Look at him. He's trying to get away. Barbecued Viking snuggler. And look how they tumble. You get to see all their little claws sort of wave in the air and stuff. It's, it's quite cool. And once they're dead, you can hit their carcass with melee. And sometimes you can get a little bit of loft on them and they can go quite far. There we go. Boom. Ha. Excellent. Lovely. So yeah. That's kind of one of the best things about this planet, is hunting these guys. If you're not into hunting fauna, perhaps you won't enjoy this as much as me. But yeah, it's good fun. Ah, nice little fly over there. Hopefully they didn't see me just kill the last Viking snuggler on this planet. No, nope, there's loads of them. Don't worry, they're not endangered. And they respawn, so it's all good. So I'm going to be scoring this the other pointage of 40, just because it's a little bit of fun killing those things. And it's got Ewokians, and it has a neighbour in the lush planet where you can get yourself some navigational datas. But total score is 55, so it's, it's not up there with the top contenders that I've found so far, chums. But it's, it's worth noting, just because of the Ewokians. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you again soon. Cheerio, bye, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.